Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. We have seen how to use DHT11 to display the temperature on a serial monitor. In this lecture, we are going to display the temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius on the LCD1602 and perhaps you can apply the same thing to the larger size 2004 module. And here is the wiring diagram of DHT11 sensor with LCD1602. I've explained this before and this one just to remind you about this the clock or SCL has been connected to A5 SDA or data have been connected to analog 4, VCC have been connected to this line, all of this will have 5 volts which I have connected using this red wire to 5 volts and ground have also been connected to the next one and we have VCC and ground here. Ground also have been connected to this line so this got its power and for this module which was before directly connected to the ground now it's connected to here the rest of wiring is exactly the same and this is the wiring for the um, PCB version of DHT11 everything is the same except these three pins the resistor have been removed the right pin have been connected to the ground the middle pin have been connected to pin 2 the left pin have been connected to VCC directly here is the wiring. The first pin here have been connected to A5, the last pin on in Arduino. The second pin SDA have been connected to A4. The white pin is connected to VCC. This VCC have been connected from here with a red wire up to this point. The last pin is ground. I have connected it to this ground and from this ground we have one ground to the last pin of this uh, sensor. The sensor wiring has not changed, this is the same as before. Let me now explain the code. This portion is exactly the same up to here. After that I've added this portion before the setup. This is wire.h which is part of Arduino, you don't have to do anything, it's just included. This is however you have to download and include it, I have shown you in a previous lectures and the link will be provided again. After that we create an instance of the class, we call it LCD, this is an object, an instance of the class. This is the address, you need to run I2C address scanner to get the proper address, 16 character, 2 line or the specification of your display change it accordingly if you're using 24 and 2004 it will be the same by the setup serial monitor is initialized even though we don't need it i've just put it there lcd.begin initialize the lcd the backlight clear the screen this set cursor line zero uh, character zero line zero and this displays this text and wait for two seconds before going to the loop inside the loop this is the same as before that I explained uh, with the module and this clears the screen from previous val value because we have a loop and continuously it displays a value and then we set the cursor at 0, 0, line 0, character 0, line 0 and we print this text. When we boot the device, pay attention, we will see this text, this is the text that we wait for 2 seconds. After that, inside the loop, this portion is responsible to print the Celsius in here. We set the cursor at uh, character 0, line 1, that's character 0 of line 1, this line. And we use the get temp with the single quote C, this will get the temperature in Celsius. And then we set the cursor at character 4, line 1, this is line 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we print this uh, degree symbol. Degree symbol is used with 223 and we put car 
around it and this will print that degree symbol for us after that character 4 we go to character 5 and we print the C then after character 5 we go to character seven, that's 6 this is 7 and we get the Fahrenheit with F that's a temperature in Fahrenheit and then we go to character 13 that's 7 8 9 10 11 that is 12 empty space and that is the 13 the reason we left empty space is that when the temperature increases and it becomes uh, above 9900 so it can move and we have extra space for that and then again we print the degree symbol and then we go to character 14 the 13 was for the symbol 14 next symbol next character and we print F and this portion was exactly the same that if you need to look at the serial monitor otherwise you can just delete this and here this is the LCD 2004 module which has 20 characters and 4 lines instead of 16 characters and 2 lines I've done nothing different, no wiring, nothing except I swapped this out and inserted this one and ran the I2C scanner to get I2C address and put that address and it works please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here thank you Thank you for watching this tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.